Hello everybody, this is Game Freak 10124 here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. Now before doing the trick are you doing recording the trick house for the trick house video? What I did was before that even I Iron raised my Pokemon up levels and the experience that they currently have now is where they were at after I did the trick house for the trick house video. I'm gonna show off the team now. This thing got Spark and Odor Sleuth, and these two didn't change at all. This one tried to learn like, some move, I can't remember what it was. It tried to learn it when it grew to level 25. What move was that? I don't know. And anyway, yeah, that's the team. Uh, that's not also I wanted to mention. I can't remember what it was, but yeah. Hopefully, I remember what it was I wanted to mention because I, uh, I don't know if there's something else I want to mention or not. I can't remember. Brave Bell Arding is evil. Crap! Do I have to have on? Yes, I don't want a lot of Pokemon. Keep them off of me. Direct hit. I will be quiet as I read your dialogue first. What did you find, kid? Puchiana. That's lame. You didn't even find that in this grass. You're a freaking liar. If you did, you're a hacker. Freaking hacker. Poochianas aren't in this part of the. They aren't in this world. They're only on the first route. Aaron. Or as the DOS match likes to call A. Aaron. So recently, Garbones finished uploading the last of his LP of Liquid Crystal. At least the Vegoto part. One thing that happened to him apparently was. He apparently lost his. Uh, save data all the way back to Ecrity City, so he said, I'm not sure from what he said, I think one time he said that he's probably eventually just gonna, he will eventually do Johto in the game and whatever those islands were they were added in the Liquid Crystal, but other than that, that's about all he's gonna do. There was another comment he, uh, on one of his videos that I made that he replied back to that he said that, uh, that he said that that <clears throat> he was just going to be doing Johto and that's it. Also, you little kid, you weren't cool in the first place anyway, so don't give me that crap. Yes, I'll wipe, wipe you, you stupid, I don't know. Yes, I've been raising my Pokemon. I'm a lot tougher than you are. I will wipe up the floor with you. Go this one. Also, I just brought something else. Also, stupid stunts for. I had uh, nicknamed my Electric and posted that at the end of the last episode, as you guys already saw, but. Uh, something apparently happened to where it's nick no longer nicknamed, so. I will have that changed back to what its nickname actually is in the next episode, so don't worry about that. I, I'm just not noticing that. I didn't notice it on the last place so I was talking about other things. Well, they, some, oh, Marshmallow. Normally that would be annoying, but I have Makar. While I'm finishing this off and looking for something to talk about, I do want to mention something. I don't. Uh, if things are 100%. Uh, 100% set in stone yet, but if things and uh, something ends up happening that I'm have been informed may happen is I may actually be able to get Smash Bros for the 3DS by the time or when it comes out this upcoming Wednesday, which is nice. I don't know for 100% for sure whether or not I'll get it yet, but if I do, I'm going to mention something in a future video about it. Maybe two, three episodes from now, if it ends up happening. Meanwhile, while I'm talking about this, I'm killing new bells. I 
I'm more than pretty good, you idiot. Put pussy footing around, tell it like it is. Item Finder is lame. I'm curious to see what they'll do with this in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If they'll make it like the Ozzy Machine is in X and Y, if they'll make it like the Ozzy Machine was in 4th and 5th gen games. I really ho just hope they don't have it be like it originally was because that would suck. Also, yay, yeah, great ball. Let's see here. Nope, all of you are fine where you're at. No. You're not seeing my Pokemon. Talk to the hand. You fat little nerd. You look nothing like your overworld sprite. Clark. And you're dead. And does the this is a job for Rock Hawk. Prepare to feel the rock. And you're dead. Oh, I wanted to level up. You'll never complete your collection unless you hack the game, you stupid fat nerd. I'm not fat, I have a gland either problem. Also, you're not a psychic. You just say general things that can be are more likely than not to be true about many, many people. You're not really a psychic. You're a phony. Unnecessary critical because Abra has crap for defense. No, I set your Pokemon up, but I'm not for the case of Electrike. You guys will see that in a little bit here. Or what its nickname is actually supposed to be, as I posted at the end of the last video, Aquamentus. I still don't know exactly why it lost the nickname, even though I have an idea. Propels if I could wore off, but I don't need it now anyway. Oh, you're rude. Why don't you say you please not sneak up behind like that? You scared the crap out of me. No, you have to be rude about it. I need to smack some decency into you. You could be a little nicer than that, you little D-bag. I will kill all your jellyfish. It's a whale. It's a whalemer. Who wants fried whale? Or zap whale? Okay, tentacle. You're a lame fisherman, your Pokemon suck. Originally I intended for, like, ah, eh, I just realized, never mind. I was gonna say something, but I'm gonna refrain from saying that. I'll mention what that is in the next episode that I'm afraid of saying. I'm glad I caught myself on that. Okay, normally I won't speed up like this, but same old, same old, kill you, you're dead. This is wasting your guys' time and mine. Electric is evolving. Something moved in, it scared, in this room and I'm in and it scared the crap out of me. More like sterile me. Norton, piss off. Seriously. That would be Norton Antivirus. Main accurate. Yay. Look at that speed stat. Give me a mega main accurate. Eh, whatever. It's a fisherman. Marvel City. I can be doing too much here in this episode. We're exploring what, like, the majority of what Little This Town has to offer in the next episode. First thing, when you kill my Pokemon, real quick. Heal. Dee 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 dee. There's one building I'll, that I will be going into in this episode. 
Riding gravel and shake up your soul. Ride all cycles. Whoa, 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 what do you have here? What's that, the customer? Me, you may call me Rydal. I am the owner of the cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come from our way? Yes. <clears throat> You're saying that you came all this way from the route? My goodness, that's ridiculous, they are. If you had one of my legs, you could go anywhere easily with flying. No, no, care after the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you, there are two kinds of bikes. They are the Michael Bike and the Acro Bike. Michael Bike is the one to feel the wind with their bodies. An Acro Bike is for the those who prefer triangle rides. I'm the worst real sweetheart, so you can have it whichever one you like. Which will you choose? Mock. Or the mock bike. I obtained the mock bike. If you're there, just bikes, come see, just come see me. Because bikes make you go faster, I decided to give him a fast voice. And then try to give him any more of a voice besides that. Now it's time to do what is generally the thing people usually do in Pokemon games once you get the bike, and that is register to the select button. Also, I have not been checking my Zigzagoons if they haven't to see if they've picked up anything. No, they haven't. Come on, Lou Zigzagoons, you're slacking as your jobs as item finders. Oh, didn't read the sign. Mayor's ideas is I want to show the uh, or show the sign off. Seaside Cycling Road. Once it starts up and actually stays going, I will mention something. This bike music, the bike music in this game, or these games, however you want to look at it, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, this is by far, hands down, my favorite bike music of all time in any Pokemon game. Which is why I'm very curious to see how they remix it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and also why I completely 110% refuse to spoil myself on the bike music until I get the games. I love this bike music. It is so awesome. It is so well composed. It is so nostalgic. So many memories that this brings back. I love this bike music. It's also used for something else in the game, but I won't talk. That won't be mentioned until way, 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 way later. You should stick your ass to the lawns, honey, because you're sh crap as a Pokemon trainer. I almost let a shite but not pronounce it like that slip out of my mouth. You know, I may curse a little bit here and there. I'm trying to avoid uh, the S word, the F word, and a couple other curse words for the sake of anybody who may be offended by cursing. Plus, <laughs> Pokemon is one of those games where I don't really feel the need to curse. I feel it'd be pretty stupid to, like, say the more vulgar curse words that can actually still be viewed as cur curse words. It's like damn and ass and crap like that. It's hardly ever, or hardly even curse words anymore. Yes, sadly to say, in this world, there's still people that are offended by them. Hey, we're biking away from me. You're too slow for me. I'm not going to say you're too slow ten billion times. I am not a blue hedgehog with freaking running shoes. I have running shoes, but I'm not a blue hedgehog. Also, Magnemite, yar. I'm sweating and hot where I'm currently at right now. Maybe because there's not too much air circulation. Melted Magnet. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I shall ma I well all these magnemites seem the biggest magnetone statue you ever seen. I must now say this. Get in the zone, magnetone. Yes, crash and burn. And it's more appropriate because I have a fire type. Tee hee. What's gonna happen in the next episode? And uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything further than that, uh, anything more than that about it. Uh, you guys, I, I hope you guys really like the title of my next episode. For you people who have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing in the next episode, me be very will be doing in the next episode based on what I said and what people usually do, and actually the fact that I don't usually do this now like I'm doing, have a big idea of what I'm referring to.
pause the video here and post your comment. If you as you get you get it right, I'll mention you in a future video for a future let's play. Or if you're very lucky, I may not have all the everything for this let's play recorded by the time this video gets uploaded, so I can actually mention your you in the video your user YouTube username before I'm um, done with the let's play. It depends on how much I get done, but I. <laughs> I <laughs> life's kind of pretty much a cluster F right now because of all the stuff I'm having to do. Especially with the uh, fact I started going to college again recently, and it's gonna be the biggest workload of any college semester I've had so far in my college career. Hey, quit biking away from me, you douche! You got the bike from Rydal. It's glaringly obvious. It says right on your bike, and a whole bunch of Rydals. Let's see here: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 45, I counted. Oh, Shainer battle. Took you long enough, stupid girl. Make up for the time I could have already been in the fight with him to speed up. We. All my zigzags now have items. Of course they do. Of course, when I don't check, they find items. Oh no, metal sound. Ow, my ears. My beautiful ears. Just for that, get melted, you magnet. Melton magnets. I have a pretty idea of what I'm going to title this episode. Of course, when I have this upload, you guys will already see what the title is, but I haven't thought of a, pup, or a name for it yet. Oh, no, I decided on 100 cent in stone. Why are you worried about also cramps? If you're going to be a triathlon elite, you should not be freaking worried about cramps. Of course your body's going to be sore by the time you're done with all three events. Biking, swimming, and... Uh... Running. I must now run Super Skarmory. The champion has a level 7 bolt orb. That was the name of one of his videos. Pokemon Emerald. Sadly, that new Pokemon Tekken game or whatever is going to be apparently just an arcade game as of right now, but. The graphics of that made me made me think when I first saw it that it was going to be a Wii U game, and the gra because the graphics of that game looked so freaking amazing. Also, I mentioned something else at the time of my recording this. I earlier I just watched Smash's uh, the Smash, uh, Smash games uh, game bang uh, where they played a a fan made Pokemon. Uh, uh, fighting game that's kind of like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. It was interesting to watch. I love the references they had in the video. One of the like the first like the first area that they fought in, like two of them fought in, was uh the uh, train state in front of the like the train in the outskirts stand from Pokemon Coliseum. There's another one that was outside the Tower of Terror, referencing the anime. There was there's another one. The, uh, like outside of an area, it's referencing the game for the N64, Hey You Pikachu. There's another one outside Gateway Coliseum referencing Pokemon Battle Revolution. I just love the references in the game. I will say one more thing and then I'm going to cut the video for something that I'll mention what it is in a minute, but... <sighs> Freaking Rui's out uh, outfit is for Pokemon like, Coliseum in that one stage is pretty, uh... I'm not trying, how, how am I trying to swear this? It's pretty raunchy. Risque, that's the word I was thinking of. But it's pretty raunchy too. But anyway, I'm going to make a safe state here. And guys, I will be back in a minute to show you uh, something that's pretty hilarious that you can get here in, uh, in Cycling Road that involves that guy down there. So I'll be back in just a second, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. What I did uh, took me probably not even a minute with speeding it up, but what I did was intentionally hit these walls a bunch of times. 
and I'll show why here. Number of inflation 99 times. Total limit or total time 1 minute plus. So what this guy basically does is keep track of how many times you run into a wall or the other people on selecting the road as well as how fast you get through the uh uh, get through the recycling road. There's really no reward for this, but it is interesting to see how fast you can go without getting collisions. But the uh, more interesting thing I wanted to show off was what happens if you <clears throat> hit walls and the trainers that are cycling, and just the people that are cycling, uh, at least 99 times and take over one minute, which, <laughs> if you if you get 99 collisions, chances are it's taking you over one minute to do that. But anyway, I don't. I think you only get the sex if you hit walls in the the cycleers at least 99 times. But I wanted to, sh wanted to show this off. I mentioned this Darwin's in a comment. I think on one of his Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke videos. I'm a ghost. You're perhaps not cut out for this fortunate cycling business. You ought to give serious thought to returning that bike to Rydal. <laughs> yeah, I never used to know about it either. When I first read that and found that out, I laughed my ass off. It was the freaking funniest thing ever. I hope they bring that little thing back on Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It's random, but it's hilarious, and I'd laugh my ass off if they bring it back. But anyway, guys, this is I know this is kind of a short episode compared to what I've been doing, but some of you may be happy by that. I know I don't like to have to sit and watch 40, 45, 50 minute episodes. But anyway, as I make my way back to Marvel City, I will close out the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon. Let's play Pokemon Ruby. And I will see you guys in the next episode for more of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, where we explore what the rest of what Marvel City has to offer and do some other stuff to the on the paths to the right and left of Marvel City. Well, actually, you know what? Guys, I'm not gonna. This is kind of a short episode, so I'm not gonna end it off quite yet. I'm gonna do one more thing. It adds the stuff to the right of Marvel City, which isn't too much, but get, add a little more onto this video because it is kind of short compared to my other ones. From Lady Rose, horrible puns. Or the horrible puns in Pokemon X and Y for trainers' names in specific gyms. Like in Ramos' gym, which is a grass gym, they named a female trainer Twiggy. Horrible pun! <laughs> Nintendo's always had a thing for horrible puns, but that's not even that. Like you, could go, blah, you could go even broader than that and say that video games have tend to have horrible puns. Not all of them, but. Quite often, there's some sort of horrible puns, whether it's intended in stuff you have to do in the game, or in names of people, or in the game, or whatever. Also, I never took the items off my Zigzagoon. Pay attention, game freak. You're losing it. I'm grossing that rose. Well, thanks for pointing that out, Captain Obvious. Super Potion. I didn't mean to check summary. Full Heal and Super Potion. Some of the more common items. Also, I haven't changed anything my team up in a little while. Okay, I man, I took you to go on the lead. Also, this is the first time we'll be using it since I evolved this. I think. If I'm not, I forget and I feel like an idiot, but whatever. Magnemite. A crit hit. I don't know if that mattered or not. Guys, are you sick of seeing Magnemites yet? Well, too bad. You'll have to see more in the next episode. That's the only hint I'm going to give is what's in the next episode. If you've ever played these games before or seen them played before, then you'll just have to wait and find out what I'm referring to. It's 
sparking a magnet to kill it. This is a rocker, not supposed to say la 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 la. Yeah, whatever, nerd. You're not a chef, you're a fisherman. Why are you talking like you're a chef? Carvana. Speaking of Rana, random story time with me. Uh, just a few hours ago, I had fish for my dinner. And that was pretty good. No. If you were beaten in heart, you'd be dead because electricity would freaking kill you. Stupid dumb fisherman. Get your head out of your rod. That sounded very wrong. Anyway, now that I did that little bit to put a little more onto this video because it's kind of short compared to my other ones, uh, I will now actually end this episode off here. So in the next episode of Pokemon Ruby, we will uh, go explore what the rest of Marvel City has to offer and go left to Marvel City and do some other stuff. So this this ends this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode for more Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. See you guys next time. Bye everybody.